Hey guys, it's Light Your Life, and I got this Devo. Here. We got the kids. Our oldest one just graduated from high school. Yay! So, Yay. Uh, we wanted to stay off the strip because uh, it was kind of cool. They had the graduation over there at the MGM Grand, which is really cool. What wasn't cool was all the crowds. So, we're like, let's go somewhere to eat, yes. but not where everyone else is going. Steve mentioned this place because he said there's like some kind of radio show that... Yeah, they have a live radio show, uh, supposedly, that's uh, they say live from the booth right here. So, so uh, I've yeah. never been here, but uh, let me tell you, let me tell you a little thing or two. No, just kidding. Let me show you exactly where it's located. All right, so this is Las Vegas Boulevard. The Silverton is yonder. The Strip is that way. And uh, actually, the, the South Outlet Malls are kind of in this parking lot, but a little bit that way. <laughs> this place is huge. I was looking at the building. I'm like, whoa. Let's give you a quick synopsis of how big it is. I thought that was like other uh, restaurants, but it says the bootlegger on the other end too. I'm like, oh my God. So I don't know. Let's go check it out. Yeah, now that I think about it, look at that. Italian dining, music, gaming, and bar lounge open, 11 daily gaming entertainment. So uh, yeah. All right. Let's, uh, everyone's already gone in without me. So I'm going to, sorry for the wind guys. Let's go check it out. Well, this is. Quite a grand entrance. Huh. I feel like I'm in a hotel actually. Look at this dude. So now we gotta find the entrance to the restaurant, I guess, because this looks like a dark and dank lounge. I like it. This is really neat. So I guess this is that radio show steve -O's talking about? Yeah, it's on 7.20 uh, a.m. Oh. At like 5 p.m. on okay. Saturday nights. All right, good to know. All righty, going into the old dining room. It's pretty grand. Ooh, look at that piano.
orders we haven't even ordered yet. They just start you out with this yumminess of bread and some sauce. So to start out, House Chianti. I was in the mood for red. I know, that's crazy, right? I don't know, I was just kind of in the mood for it. So now I gotta try it. And delicious it is. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't on the wine list because he said it was because it looked like you were only buying bottles on that thing. Maybe not. No, there but, was a big list of red. Oh, the, the reds by the glass. But this was not on the list. It's just a house. So, there you go. It's good, though. I like it. All right. Caesar salad has arrived. Yes, pepper would be great. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. All right, would Perfect. You like more bread? Yes, please. Yes. By the way, that bread was delicious. So we opted for the Caesar salads with our lunch meal because um, it comes with the salad, bread, and your meal. So you can do house salad or the Caesar. It looks like we are food is a coming. We are being served. Bring your Tony with some meatballs. Oh, hello. My ravioli has arrived. What did you get, Steve? Lasagna. Lasagna. Okay. Cool. And thank you. And what is this situation? Chicken parm. Chicken parm. Okay. So this just in as a request to make my plate more spicy or spicy in general. I don't think it's spicy to begin with, but you know, I gotta have a kick to my situation. All right. Oh, that's very cute. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is so cool. Don't forget the canola. All right. Thank you, Steve-O. <laughs> All, right. All right, looks like Steve-O and my other child has ordered a creme brulee. <laughs> She's giving me a disgust look. <laughs> that looks really good, though. So we got that, and we got this cannoli with a congratulations graduate on chocolate sauce. How cool is that? All right, guys, while they're eating their desserts, I'm going to peruse the uh, restaurant situation here. First off, boy, would I like to play this. I'm not really sure what's out here. <clears throat> it looked like a cute little sitting area. It looked kind of cool. Not really sure, though. Anyway. Ooh, and it brings you to the lounge area. Yeah. Okay. Keep it walking. See if I'm allowed to go to the back end. All right, I am allowed to peruse the area. I got permission. So bathrooms are right here. Some cool old photos. You got the takeout right here. So if you wanted to order things to go right here. Oh, I see. It's a parking lot on this side too, so you can sit and wait, I guess. So there's all sorts of different halls and corridors that separate yourself from this area, which I'm not gonna go out and go in those because I don't think I can, like, I don't think they're open, but that is actually a pretty interesting building here. So back to the front. All right. All right. All right, guys. Tiba pointed this out. I just noticed it myself. Do you guys remember? This dude? I do. All right, guys, we are heading out. Do a quick food review of this place. Just waiting on participants. Not all of them want to participate. Probably just the Stevo, because it's how it is anymore. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll see you in a hot second. All right, he finally arrived. Sorry, the lights on my eyes. That's being inside. Yes. So, okay, anyway. um, all right. So, what did you think of the place? I liked it. Cool. Would you come uh, back I think again? I'm coming back for my birthday. Well, alrighty. I guess we have a hot damn review. No, I don't know where that came from. <laughs> hot um, damn. We're hot damn. Back. <laughs> Anywho, 
Yeah, guys, this is a pretty cool place. It literally is right off Las Vegas Boulevard, not that far from the Strip. So for all you guys visiting Las Vegas, I definitely recommend coming out here, especially because it's right right near the, the outlet malls if you guys like to shop too. So it's in a good spot. And uh, the ambiance was great, service was great. We came at um, lunchtime, so it wasn't as busy. It probably gets busier on a weekend. Especially when that and the, the guy portions were just right. DJ. For lunch. Yeah, I mean, lunch portions. He said you could order from the dinner if you wanted to, but that was perfect uh, portions because I took some of mine to go. So, but yeah, I, I wouldn't want to eat much more than that, even if it was dinner. So it was well, great. Hot damn on that one too. So with that said, guys, I don't know why I keep. I, that's quoted from Phil Shane, you guys. I'm gonna put his little picture up there. He was the most. He is the most awesome lounge singer ever. And uh, he used to be in Orange County. He used to go to the Fling uh, back in the day. Um, the, well, Rembrandt's and they changed the name. And, um, oh God, what was that place called in Santa Ana? Something like... Santa Ana? Yeah, Santa Ana. They had a really cool place. We went there, we vlogged it. And, I, um, I can't remember the name, sorry. Anyway, he, right he performed in a lot of different places there in Orange County. Oh. Then he moved. Yeah. Well, he was at the fair, too. He, well, yeah, we saw him at the Orange County Fair, too. Um, Rembrandt's changed to another name, though. Oh. Um, now we can't remember that one, either. That's really sad. That was your Belinda slash Placentia? Yeah. What did he change it to? I don't know. <laughs> oh, my <Get> God. <laughs> anyway, Phil Shane, he moves, <laughs> but I think he still goes out there sometimes to perform. If you ever see a dude named Phil Shane on a sign go because he is so amazing and he gives everyone attention like he's just loves the attention from the audience he loves to participate with the audience and he's one cool guy anyway that has nothing to do with this show, this place but he should perform here that's all i'm saying i think this would be like a total phil shane kind of place anyway guys don't forget to like share and subscribe we'll see you again soon bye